Hey guys, this is Jules. I have a couple of tags that I want to share with you guys, um, mainly for my newbies. I uh, haven't done a newbie video for a little bit and um, just wanted to share something that's pretty simple that you can do too. Um, these now tags don't have to necessarily be all extravagant and packed with a bunch of stuff on it. They can be nice and simple. You can give them away with a little bag of like candy, like this one. You can give it to some of the kids if you are in the mood to just play with tags. Um, you can buy some really small tags and do this and just attach a little bag of some candy and little note of, um, I don't know, I wish you a great Halloween day, um, or a little blessing note, like, I don't know, I don't know, whatever it is that you want. You can always use the backside to write a little note for them if you want. Um, you can also give these away if you want to. This says, ha um, happy Thanksgiving. So of course you don't want to use it for Halloween day, but you can, if you change the, the, the sentiment, but it's up to you. What I want to do is, um, show you basically how to do the little tea dye, not the tea dye, the tie dye. Gosh, I keep saying tea dye. The tie dye effect, um, of this tag and show you how to do the multiple colors on the leaves on this tag. So if I have time, I will create the entire tags uh, on for both of them. But if not, I'll just show just basically how to do, how to come up with the coloration on there. Okay. Um, now the colors that I used are Tim Holtz Distress Inks. If you're brand new and you've just barely heard of Tim Holtz inks, these are some of the, the best inks that I've actually, this is probably the only inks that I use except for, um, black ink to stamp with and um, some pigment inks that I have and some Stampin' Up! inks, but I really almost always go to these because I distress a lot. But um, these react really well to water and that's why I can I can do this kind of a thing with them. So, and there's 36 colors, um, which are amazing colors and every color basically of the rainbow is in here. So I really like to use these. So let me show you. I use about four different colors for this. I use purple, blue, green, and red. And the colors were Barn Door, Peel Paint, Stormy Sky, and Dusty Concord. And I just realized that was not in macro so you couldn't see that. Anyways, um, and I have here I made 12 of these because I'm part of this tag swap that Velma's hosting hi Velma and uh, we're to make 24 tags so I did 12 each of um 12 of each kind of tag here I did a Halloween theme and then a autumn theme or a uh, happy Thanksgiving type of thing anyways um so I went ahead and just stamped these down on this uh, notebook paper that I have and I just want to show you the colors um this red and then the green and down here these are the ones that I use for the fall and then these, oops, sorry, these four here for the Halloween tag. But um, beautiful colors. Really love these. Love the burnt orange. So I have 12 of each tag. And so let, let's start with the um, Halloween theme since I already have the, sta the stamp pads out. I'm going to use a um, kind of a scrap tag that I had sent. I have two of them. So I'm, these are actually larger than the ones that I used. <laughs> so I'll be playing uh, and having fun with this one because there's a lot more to play with. Um, let me see if I can try to get trying to get good visual here. Maybe if I bring the camera down a tiny bit more. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Just zoom out just a tiny bit. Okay. Um, what I used on this tag is some of Patsy's ribbon. Uh, Patsy is at Prairie bird boutique at etsy and i'll have a link to her store below um but i love her seam binding um that she she makes these awesome ribbons and um i don't know she's always willing to do custom ones for me and package up really cool stuff for, stuff for me so this is also a burnt kind of a softer burnt orange that she has um, and I don't know the names of the colors because she puts them in bundles, three different colors in a bundle, and then she names that bundle. So I couldn't tell you. So you just have to go to her Etsy store and look at all of the bundles that she has. This is some gold tinsel from her store as well that I used. I had some, she gave me some free strings or strands, and, um, I used every single bit for these 12 tags for the Thanksgiving one. So, and then I have some wild orchid crafts, uh, flowers, open roses, um, two-toned sweetheart blossoms and then a skeleton leaf. This is actually one leaf 
that I cut in half and then shaped it and used two of them, made two of them out of that one. Just for the scale of it, it was just humongous. See the tag? It's just kind of big for the two tiny little flowers that I was using. So, okay, let's move this out of the way. Well, actually, I'm gonna, when I, I'm gonna copy the same pattern um, just because I like it. So what I did first is I used um, my green peeled paint. There's about three or four different greens and um, that you can use if you want. But you know, you'd have to play with which one you, you want to use. So I just started at the top here. You can see I just streaked it all the way down here and used a little bit down here. And I'll show you the stamp sets that I use. So we use um, blending tools. You want to start off of the project and then work your way gradually on there. Ooh, there's a funny little pattern on there. Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. I don't really care. And then... And I added a tiny bit down there. And then I went in and grabbed my Dusty Concord, which is a gorgeous, grapey purple. I love this purple. And I'm not a purple person, you guys. It's really weird that I was like, I really wanted to try working with purple with um, this tag. Look at that. And then um, right here. Oopsies. Sorry. And then I went with my, um, actually the blue, Stormy Sky. What I wanted to do is to blend it with the purple because I like the way it looked. Um, the blue and the purple just looks really pretty. So, see how it really kind of blends, um, but when it's wet, oh, it's gorgeous. So I did a little bit of blue there and then did a little bit of blue down here. And I don't know why I did that either. It was just something that I wanted to, I wanted to extend some of that blue down there. And then the barn door, Gorgeous red. It's a nice bright red. Has that evilness of it. And I just brought it around here. You can always add a little bit somewhere else if you want to. Let's put a little bit up in the top corner. Okay. Just because there's a lot more to play with. You guys should see how I have all my tools <laughs> sitting over here. Okay. This all bleh, piled up like a 10 car pile up over there of distress tools. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do this like blotchiness and watch how this blends really pretty with just some water. These inks work really well with water. And what I had done is set this in my trash can because I, it was full of plastic pieces and stuff. And um, so what I wanted to do is just let it all drip in there and then take it out and then dab it with my napkin or paper towel and then get my heat tool on it. So here's my water bottle. It's going to spray it all the way down. I am going to soak it drenched. Oh, I love the colors and I don't normally do this kind of uh, work. I don't normally tie dye stuff, but I'm going to leave it alone because I want it to soak into the tag. Now, when um, you do spray your tags down, your tag will curl. Um, so make sure you have something. And I use a metal tool um, to hold it down. But if can you see the border here? That all the purple and the blue kind of like pulling, and then the red pulling there. So now's a good time. I'm gonna start drying it with my heat tool. In newbies, this is not a hair dryer. This is a special tool that um, it heats up to in a, a very, very, very hot temperature. So you have to be very careful because this will burn your projects if you don't know, if you don't realize the power of the temperature. Okay, so be very careful. Now, if you want to dab some of this off, you can. I just want to get a little bit of the corner of the borders. Okay.
Look at that red is back there. Um, surprisingly, it didn't curl as much as I thought it was gonna. Sorry, my workstation, my work table. Okay, so once you get it where um, it's pretty much dried up, um, the blotchiness that, that I make is with the actual water itself. <clears throat> so while it's still hot, I spray, I'll spray it again, just a little bit. And I want big drops of water. And the big drops of water um, will just kind of stay where they where they land. And as you dry it, it'll just start to create this ring around it. So it looks it has this like grunginess of about it, this grungy look. And with the bright colors, I don't know. To me, this kind of screams Halloween. Um, making it look imperfect. It's just grungy, kind of dirty, but it looks, it's perfect. I, I really like the effect of it. If you have a little bit too much water, you can always just let it soak up on the, the paper towel there. And you can do this like off of your table because if you do it like on your table, depends on what you have underneath there, you can burn um, your mat. Now I have a craft um, mat there that is, it takes heat pretty good, but the one underneath it tends to want to bubble a little. So, um, to kind of take the stress of the heat off so that I don't damage it, I do remove my stuff if I have to take my heat tool to it. So, okay. So basically, that's how you create the blotchiness. And that's the inks. The beauty of the inks is this is what it does, is that it reacts really well to um, the heat. So... Yeah, it'll be messy back there, but you can always uh, get another tag and uh, either somehow adhere it to a cleaner one so that you can use it to write if you want to, but that's totally up to you. I don't really mind it at all. So what I liked was that one little, <laughs> thought it was a cute little stamp set. Now this stamp set is by Inka Dinka Doo. I got this on clearance a couple years ago. And this one's called Trick or Treat. And it's this stamp set here. It's so adorable. And then it was uh, $9.99. And then on sale for $3.99, I got it for an additional 50% off. So I got it for $2, bucks, um, if I'm not mistaken. Same thing with this one here. Get the cat wrapped in toilet paper. That's just funny. And then the jailbirds. <laughs> it's just cute to me. So I used that. And then for the other tags, I used um, these leaves which is called leaves galore um by inka dinka do okay so let's move on with this i think i used it yeah i did use this one now i'm gonna um use my black ink ink pad oh you know what it's still kind of wet down oh no it's not okay so i just inked this up so it should be nice and wet and juicy so just grabbing some black ink and it'll stand out really nice um, up along on top of these colors so okay okay let me get you down there I think that they are so cute. Look at them. <laughs> I just think they're so cute. I love it. And then I sprayed it with some glimmer mist that is this purple. Oh, what's the color? I thought I had it out and I didn't. Here it is. Purple pansy. And 
this has water in it so when you spray it it's going to create some more blotchiness but it will also um add to what you already did okay and then the glitter of it i now this does not glitter as much as lindy's lindy sam gang takes takes the cake when it comes to glittering um i really do like their products i really really do I have tons of glimmer mist um, and I'm just getting started on my Lindy's and in comparison if you don't want a whole lot of glitter you can use the glimmer um, the glimmer mist but if you want tons of glitter with color and some don't have a whole lot of color because you want the glitter of it um, Lindy's is really the way to go if you want the glitteriness so yeah it's just it's the best for tons of glitter shimmer now you're not supposed to shake it and uh, yeah it will clog I don't know if they come up with new sprayers yet, but anyways. Um, so I just lightly sprayed it and using the purple. Oh, it's so, 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 so pretty. I love the purple. Actually, I shouldn't have done that on there because it's going to stain my mat. Because they do stain. And so will Lindy's. Lindy's Sound Gang stuff will stain too, but that's why you need to use another, uh, a, like a bucket or a bin or a spray catcher or whatever so I did spray um, like three different times you saw like one two three because I do want a little bit of the purple a lot of the purple shim to shimmer so you might be able to see some of that yeah I can see some of the blotchiness there so it's perfect and then you edge it with the ink for example newbies I used black so where's my black sit Actually, I used green first, so let's just use some green. No, I didn't use my paper distressor like to rough up the edges. I didn't feel like I needed to. So I'm going to use the green, and you can see there how it changes color. See here, it doesn't have any. But when you edge it, it frames it for you, and it just gives it more of a completed look. So you want to do that. I heard somebody say that the distress tool, the foams for these, last quite a while no they don't they don't last a long time especially if you use it a lot or you go to that color pretty frequently um and depending on how you use it because i go through my vintage photo one like crazy and the foam thing is nasty um see i've only used this uh, color just for a couple projects here and there and i think i've changed it once so these little foamy things will tear they're not that durable uh, but they do the job Here we are. It's framed, and then I'll go back with the black soot and um, go around it again. So some of the green will show through the black, and I think it it just it does the work the work for it. It does the job. I like the way that it frames it and everything. So, and then your ribbon, you just um, thread it through there, and you're done. So that's that one. Now the fall one. I'm just going to show you how to do the leaves, okay? Because we're running out of time here. And I didn't want to go past 20 minutes. So what you do is um, you create your own background. Now with the stamps, they're in different pieces. Like this one is one piece. Oh, sorry. This one is one piece. This one's one piece. That's one piece. That's one piece, one piece. So these four pieces here, I grabbed that and stuck it right here in the center. Not in the center, but here, uh, this side here. And then I grabbed the other two that I liked that had more of the fall looking the fall look to the leaf like this one here and this one here has some words in it, it says leaves and fall cold or something like that um, so I grabbed that and I just created my own background with it so what you want to do what I did and didn't work for me is stamping my pad spraying with water and it was too blotchy it didn't blend the colors well for me so I didn't even spray it with water I just went ahead and just grabbed the colors that I wanted to use which in this case is rusty hinge crushed olive walnut stain scattered straw peeled paint I use six colors for this and the barn door so I didn't use any of the tools I'm gonna go with my um, walnut stain I'm gonna press it randomly the rusty hinge has that pretty red so does the barn door crushed olive actually yeah 
crushed olive, scattered straw. And then I'm going to go back. Here's pill paint. So I'm going to go back with my barn door. And my walnut stain. Because this is the fall color to me. The brown is gorgeous. And it works perfect. Actually, I want some more red over here. Okay. So just grabbing those. It's not going to cover the whole tag, but and it's okay. I'm going to just, oops, I'm in frame. Stamp. And the colors are, will be there. You might have some lines here and there, but it doesn't matter to me. And if it doesn't matter to you, then it would be fine. And there are the fall colors on your leaves. And to me, that works. It works fine. I'm not um, too picky about it. So I want to use, actually, what's the hinge? I'm going to use a rusty hinge color because I think it just gave it a really nice, pretty fall color for the sentiment. It says, Happy Thanksgiving. This is some uh, stamp that I found, I think, at Craft Warehouse for a dollar or three dollars or something like that. So I just inked it up. Okay. Sorry, my grunt. <laughs> Trying to press it in there. So there's the sentiment, the leaves. And then you finish it off, edging it. Um, I'm trying to remember what I used. I think I used um, the crushed. I used crushed olive, and then I used the rusty hinge for the outside because I used orange and gold for this. So I wanted to kind of have those two colors highlight. Okay, so that's how you do that. And there's some detailed pictures on my blog if you guys want to take a peek. And if you have any questions, let me know. And that's about it. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Jill sending out of the jewel box. Bye, guys.